Hi guys, my name is Chantel Buerta. I'm a recruitment strategist and coach. And I wanted to share with you that I met this amazing woman on LinkedIn, Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie and I have now decided, we've walked a bit of a road together and we've now decided to put out a series of joint videos on LinkedIn. I obviously come from the job search sort of, you know, recruitment angle. Stephanie comes from the business angle. We both run our own businesses. We both use LinkedIn extensively. So I think we've got quite a lot of exciting info we're going to share with you on this series. So without further ado, Stephanie, welcome. Thanks very much, Chantel. So yes, I'm a self-employed uh, creative designer. I struggle to call myself a graphic designer because graphic design does everything from the bottom up for your brand. And I just add a creative flair with branded images to your social media platform. Perfect. And I know Stephanie has done some awesome stuff for my clients. So I'm going to share my screen with you and show you a couple of applications. And of course, the first thing we're going to be covering today is this top section of your LinkedIn profile. So I don't know what you call this top section, but there are three really important aspects. One is your banner, which is that beautiful picture at the back there. One is your photograph. And of course, the final aspect is your headline, which is this thing over here. Um, so this is a job seeker who Stephanie and I have both worked with and she decided to just put her personal brand on her, on her banner. If you look at my banner, it's slightly different. It's a generic business banner. Um, and then of course my LinkedIn goes to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> when it loads, when it wants to load. When it, exactly, my goodness. So that is not my banner, I assure you. I okay, you see that there. blue? That's your standard? Yes. That uh, before, before we change to Chantel's, that's your stock standard, what LinkedIn gives you. And the aim is to change it. Because it's boring. It tells me nothing about you. So there's my Correct. banner, stock standard, pretty sort of normal. Um, it can mean <laughs> anything, I suppose. <laughs> And then, of course, Stephanie, because she creates on a daily basis, she's always changing her banner. Um, and this is her current offer that she's running at the moment. Now, guys, I must just tell you something about banners. Hey, you can view banners on Canva and on PictoChart by yourself. But if you're anything like me, I spent two hours making a complete botch of it. You just got to stay, really. <laughs> So Steph, tell us why the banner, the headline and the photo is so important from a business perspective. Okay, I'm going to go with your, uh, your profile photo first. Your profile photo is important because it shows the person who's looking at your profile exactly who it is that they're looking at. And it's, it's distracting if there's more than one person in, in the photo because who are you? Exactly. Do you understand? You can have various backgrounds it's really not a problem it's with the background but don't have more than one person in the photo because you're not more than one person you're just one person um, then as far as the banner is concerned it shows the person who lands on your profile who you are at a glance Angie's that you saw over there she wanted something that's soft feminine with a little bit of a quote that's nothing harsh business like Chantal is um, offering her uh, recruitment strategist and coach service in her banner. And mine is a little bit more creative and a little bit more busy um, showing different elements of what it is that, that I am currently offering. So your banner is very important to show your audience what it is that who, who it is that you are and what it is that you offer and your photo who you are. It doesn't matter what the photo looks like. There's LinkedIn police that will tell you no cleavage. Yes, I agree. No cleavage because there's some really dogs on, on LinkedIn. And I say that with a lot of respect. And you can show knees and you can show different ways of posing. You don't have to have just a bland, boring stock standard face you can really just show your personality and that's my recommendation absolutely and i'm going to weigh in on the headline from from, from that perspective please you told us quite a lot about the um the banner and the photo and i absolutely concur you know you've always got to come back to your personal brand and what you want to show people out there remember social media is a managed impression but your headline guys 
your headline is something that people on LinkedIn will see before they even land on your profile. And your headline will largely determine whether people connect with you or don't accept your connection request. So my advice in terms of a headline is tell me something awesome about yourself. Maybe include a few job titles for reference, but tell me what you do well. Tell me what you're good at. Tell me what you do. You know, don't, don't just limit it to project manager or something bland like that. What are your thoughts on that? But also, if I can just... If I can just add to that, and yes, very important, your banner is something that follows you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. So when I comment on your post, mm -hmm. you see my photo and you see part of my headline. Yeah. So if my headline grabs you within those first couple of words, I think it's probably 10 words, mm -hmm. if that many, yeah. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. You can actually grab the attention of the person that you're trying to mm -hmm. connect with on a very subtle level do you understand absolutely absolutely and that's why i say don't leave your headline as just a job title make it a little bit more interesting a little bit more about who you are so let's talk about what the elements are on that first you know on that first sort of contact page we're speaking about banner photo and headline what is important about these aspects, Steph, especially from a business perspective, as you would know. I think it's very important that the what would be, what are you showing me? Because I land on your profile and I have no idea who you are. Sure. So what, what are you showing me? Mm -hmm. What do you want me to know about you as a person? Absolutely. And that's my take on it. Absolutely. And you know, from a job seeking perspective, I always say to people that that top section is prime real estate. Make it work for you. And that for me is the what. Consider what your message is, as Stephanie says, and how you want to showcase yourself and how you want to brand yourself. Vitally, vitally important to get this part right. So let's talk about where you can use these three aspects. And this is quite an interesting um, dynamic or, or a different way of looking at it. So you've got the three aspects right. You've got your photo, you've got your headline, and you've got your banner. Now, where else could you potentially use these elements? I think it's very important to know that most people have both LinkedIn as well as Facebook. And Facebook and LinkedIn, for, from a business perspective, walk hand in hand. So if you've got your offer showing on, on LinkedIn and you've got nothing on Facebook, yes, Facebook is about being private and about being airy-fairy and all that other stuff, but it's still a business platform as well. Social media has become business. Business is no longer just an online CV. Business is now about showing my personality to you who's my audience. So where? Definitely. LinkedIn and uh, Facebook. What you show on the one, you can definitely show on the other, but it's not necessary. And also, don't forget Twitter. Yeah. Don't forget Twitter as well as YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. Because most of us, if we're doing videos like this, we've got a YouTube channel. We've got a Twitter um, uh, uh, platform that we that we run as well some of us not all of us but those are all prime real estate absolutely it's fellow ground it's waiting for creative fertility to just sprout up there oh sure and you know what i want to add on the subject of personal branding it is not uncommon for employers to do social media checks before they hire you so as a business your brand is important if there's that fluidity and it flows through to all of your platforms but as a job seeker it's equally important because you've got to make sure that the message you're sending on LinkedIn is the same message on Facebook and the same message on any of your other social media platforms so make sure you, you're, you're cohesive with your message maybe not the same images but the same message absolutely but you know what you can have the same image as well Chantal but you know, at the end of the day, it's once again, it's about who your audience is yeah. on that specific platform. So if your audience is my audience on um, on all of my platforms are mindset coaches and confidence coaches. So I need to be professional. But mm -hmm. if my if my audience was going to be prospective employers in a graphic design sort of uh, scenario, 
I would go black absolutely crazy with with showing my creativity. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that's a valid point, Steph, particularly for job seekers as well. I'm working with a new client at the moment who's a chef. And I got so excited when I started working with him because exactly, he's creative. He's got all these great food images. Um, so we're incorporating that into his collateral and into his social media because you can. You know, you can show what you've done as opposed to just telling what you've done on your CV. Absolutely, and it's so important to show rather than tell because we are visual, we are visual beings. Yeah. We have eyes for a reason and it's to see and we retain more with the visual than we do with words. Absolutely. It's scientifically proven. Absolutely. That's NLP 101 right there. I love it. Right up my alley. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about when. Again, we're talking about the three elements, banner, photo and headline on LinkedIn. When do you change these? From, from my perspective, as a job seeker, you can change them whenever you feel like they're not working for you. You know, I love the fact that LinkedIn is so fluid, it's not cast in stone. And if your headline is not working or bringing you the wrong connections, change it. Steph, what's your feeling from a business perspective? I think so too, Chantal. Um, at the end of the day, the when really shouldn't even be a, a deciding factor on on how often you should change things if you but don't change it for the sake of changing it mm -hmm. you know um if something is not working for you for a week mm -hmm. give it another month sure. it may work in a month's time so mm -hmm. chopping and changing for the sake of it's not working for me today maybe tomorrow it will work is not that's not a good when Sure. The when is when you've run the course. Yeah. Uh, a, a marketing coach of mine suggested what you do on social today mm -hmm. pays off in three months' time. Interesting. So you've literally got three months in order to make sure that it works or it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, change it. Interesting. But then I'm going to give you the flip side of the equation. Don't be like me. Once you've got a LinkedIn banner, you decide it can sit there for a hundred years. And Steph keeps reminding me, when are you going to change your LinkedIn banner? Sooner, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> all right. And then lastly, I think all of you are, are, are maybe wondering now, how do I do this? How do I write my headline? How do I choose my image? How do I create my banner? Um, from my side, like I say, you can go onto the free resources like the Canvas and all the rest of it. It's not advisable. I spent two hours and I completely sucked to talk to Steph, for goodness sake. How do you decide what your headline is going to look like? Again, think of that phrase that sums you up, that tells me how good you are. You know, you're not just an accountant. You're an accountant that specializes in cost saving or whatever the case may be. Steph, from a business point of view, how, 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 do, you, how do business people do this? You know what, Chantal, at the end of the day, it's about, you're entirely correct, <clears throat> excuse me, it's about showcasing who you are and what you're capable of doing. So I like to show people what I'm capable of doing by putting out um, my designs on social media. And the only way I can make my people aware of what it is that I can do is by showcasing it. Mm -hmm. So if, if someone lands on your profile, they have no idea who you are. They want to find out who you are, but, <laughs> And please take this in the spirit it's given. People are lazy. They do not want to scroll. If, they, if your top section, your banner, your photo, and your headline does not attract them, they are not going to scroll down further. Unless they are dead bored and they actually have nothing else to do. They can, they're going to scroll. But you have to, you have to capture the audience at that stage already. So your, your banner, very important. Mm. Show who you are. Show some personality. Mm. Your, um, your, your photo, show some personality. Mm. You can sit with a cup in your hand that has a big this. No entry. But that shows, but that entry. shows, this is not, you don't want to look at me. So once again, think of what it is that you're using as a prop. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you can't have um unapproachable yes <laughs> but being in the job market 
Do you do you hear that? Approachable. <laughs> approachable. Hundred percent approachable. So once again, think of what it is that you that you're showing. Okay. Your banner. Think of what it is showing. If you've got something that you have put on there yourself, look at it from an outsider's perspective. Yeah. Hell, even ask me or Chantal to have a look at it, and it's not going to be. I can make it better for you or Chantal will suggest that I can make it better for you. We'll look at it from an outsider's perspective. And at the end of the day, I may become an employer mm -hmm. at some stage down the line as well. Mm -hmm. And then I want to see something that I will look at. Mm -hmm. So, you know, be approachable, be personable, yes. show your personality, Absolutely. And but know, not drunk photos. No, agree. But you know what, I think you've hit on such a good idea. You don't, you can obviously ask me instead for our opinion, but ask someone else, ask your friends, ask yes. your boss, ask, get a range of opinions. Say to them, what is your impression? Screenshot that top section. What is your impression and what do you read when you see this? What is the message behind the message? Guys, don't ever underestimate the opinions of a large group of people. To leverage those opinions and figure out what message you're sending. I think that's a great note for us to end on today. Like I said, this is going to be a series and we're going to go through each element of your LinkedIn profile. So do watch out for the next video next week. And that's it. Thanks so much, Steph, for your um, contribution. I've really enjoyed this. You're very welcome, Chantal. And, you know, um, both Chantal and I, as you have noticed, are on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And look us up. If there's anything that she can help you from a recruitment perspective or I can help you from a design perspective, mm -hmm. we're here. We wouldn't be advertising ourselves in this manner if we weren't available. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Thanks, Steph.